Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event. Scheduled for 15 rounds of heavyweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Vladimir Klitschko's ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. He's making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Vladimir Klitschko. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. A little head hunting with the right. Vladimir Klitschko has shown that he is a complete, well-rounded boxer puncher. I mean, just look at his combination punching alone, Teddy. Yeah, and the key there is the jab. I mean, he uses that jab to set everything up. You know, sometimes he pours with it a little bit, but he's always keeping you busy. And most important, he's always controlling range until it's time to drop the hammer, the right hand. Teddy, here's something that you will often point out early in a fight, and it's obvious with this guy. He cuts easy. Yeah, he definitely does. And what he's going to have to do, there's a reason why he cuts. First of all, you know, he's got thin skin. Now he has scar tissue, so it's only more of a problem. But he gets hit too easy. You know, he's got to improve his defense. He's got to go out there and keep his hands up better, move his head a little bit more. Maybe the cuts won't happen then. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Double jab right to the face. Halfway through round number one. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. Oh, that's a big shot to the head. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Committed to that left hand, and it's working out. Now there's the jab. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Very accurate two-punch combo by Vladimir Klitschko. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. 
And the round comes to an end. Vladimir Klitschko's approach is to score from the outside. That's already shown itself early on here as he scored to his opponent's head. You gotta land a big punch now. No doubt about it, you are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Keep circling. Here we go, round two is underway. Vladimir Klitschko's showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It disrupts everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. Right to the body. Vladimir Klitschko's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Good job on the two-punch combo by Vladimir Klitschko. Looks to the head. It's off with a combination up top. Scores up top with a left. Not precise at all by Vladimir Klitschko. He got hit, but he sends it right back with the left hand it was sudden it was fast it was direct by Vladimir Klitschko Vladimir Klitschko's jab is really becoming an effective tool here especially with the distance that he's keeping away from his opponent he's doing a great job of using that stick making sure that that jab's in his face but then stepping out and setting traps getting his opponent to reach in a little bit and then filling the hole what a smart combination by Vladimir Klitschko both guys have a lot to be proud of with their performances in this round so far, and they still want to give more. What an encore in this final minute. If you were a kid, you would feel that you're on one of those rides at Space Mountain. I mean, it's just extraordinary. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Yeah. <laughs> Vladimir Klitschko is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. So the game plan for Vladimir Klitschko doesn't change much. Another good, solid shot to the head. And the game plan, you're right, is consistent. Set up by that jab once again. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Vladimir Klitschko. And that's the end of round two. He just cannot get out of the way of these headshots. And they're coming from long range. He's setting it up with the jab. Well, somebody's got to remind them that, you know, those gloves that you got on, they're not just to keep your hands warm. You can actually block punches with the glove, not with your face. underway a well-placed left hand up top well targeted two punch combo by Vladimir Klitschko Vladimir Klitschko's hand speed is the difference here I mean that's what that combination was all about yeah purely speed he just got off faster sooner it's not the most accurate uppercut you'll see how about that left hand 
Back to basics here, as you can see, the jab becoming a key instrument for him. Boxing 101. You have an opponent walking in, you want to stay on the outside, use that jab. There he is from long range using that jab. Joe, if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use insect repellent. Well, you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away, that jab, that's the way to go. Still no defense out of him. Still no ability to stop this onslaught. He's taking serious damage. And you got to worry about his future because the damage he's taking right now for tonight, okay, we understand that, but how is this going to impact him for the future? That's where you're starting to get into a danger zone right now. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Vladimir Klitschko. Able to land the hook to the head. Vladimir Klitschko is able to land a good, solid left hand. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there, was the cover. Thumbs away with a hook by Vladimir Klitschko. You could tell that he was nearly out of gas, so now he's taking a little bit of a break. He's tying up. Hey, look, airplanes have to land. They don't keep flying. They land so they can get refueled. He's getting refueled here a little bit. But his opponent, he gave him a landing strip. He should not have. He should have made him crash into the mountain. Vladimir Klitschko's putting forth a great combination there. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just the sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just the physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches there. Nice and clean there. Crisp and short. They're together. With all that leverage, all that size, and with Vladimir Klitschko, do not discount the technique. He turns that right hand into a big-time weapon. And now he's targeting upstairs. Look at that combination by Vladimir Klitschko. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down. Oh, it may be close here. Can he survive the round? End of round three. Good job. Oh, we got it. Now keep boxing. You're doing great. Uh, You're making really it hard for him to kick. hit you. You don't need that. Now. Throw that away. Relax. Relax. You're okay. You're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. This is turning into a wasted effort here as we reflect on the first three rounds and get a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Yes, he's throwing punches, but nothing's landing clean. He's down on your scorecard. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. a big uppercut that just crashed home. Some serious damage done on that power shot to the head. Dropped his hand, paid a price. 
Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Hold on! He is here. not in good shape. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Klitschko's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him.